Uh, there was a lot of innovation here that had not taken place in other parts of the war. Uh, like I said, I grew up here. I have a, a pretty extensive collection from living here and just running up on things. One of the things I have was a first um, in the history of the war in, in most every cannon ball they shot had a timed fuse if it was an exploding cannonball. So what they screwed it in and it was a 10 second or 15 second or 30 second fuse. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, there was a, man, a Confederate named Girardi who came up with the first percussion fuse and I found one hole here. I have two pieces, but what that was, a very small round thing, smaller than my little finger, and a, a piece came out of it and it had spikes on it and it was sitting out and when that hit something it went in and ignited the gunpowder and blew up mm -hmm. but that was the first percussion uh, fuse and percussion shot ever used in the history of war to my knowledge a very rare find so but I mean it's it's very interesting that things like that started uh, if it wasn't here it was right near here Girardi was actually from Georgia but I don't know where he was when he invented it I just know there were a few here that I've found. It was also a, a great variety of different munitions you'd find here. Uh, most everything you find is 58 caliber, be it Confederate or Union, but we found 64 calibers uh, on the Union lines further away. A lot of uh, uh, non muzzle loading rounds, Maynards, Enfields, I mean, not Enfields, Maynards. Uh, forgive my lack of remembering what everything is but shells that actually had the the brass and a firing pin as opposed to so having to pack your powder in your possibly in your a lead. spencer rifle or maybe a henry rifle i, I don't think any henry's but yeah spencer's and and um, whatever i said before